What Really Happened to Barry Newman, star in Petricelli. Barry Newman was born Barry Foster Newman on November 7, 1938, in Boston, Massachusetts, U.S. the son of a Belarusian-born mother, Sarah, and an Austrian father, Carl Newman. After graduating from Boston Latin School, the oldest public school in the country, he graduated from Brandeis University with a B.A. in Anthropology. While at Brandeis he met Lee Strasberg, who was teaching a course in theater, which inspired Barry to become an actor. He entered the Army and served his time in the Army Band, playing saxophone and clarinet. Once discharged from the Army, he went to New York to study with Strasberg to pursue his acting career. Shortly after he made his debut in Herman Wouk's first comedy, Nature's Way, in which he played a jazz musician. Newman's first acting job was in Herman Wouk's first comedy, Nature's Way, in which he played a jazz musician. This was followed by a featured part in the play Maybe Tuesday, written by Mel Tolkien, Sid Caesar's head writer, and Lucille Collin, Imogene Coca's head writer. He then appeared in several Broadway shows, including What Makes Sammy Run, Mel Tolkien's Maybe Tuesday, and starred in the New York production of the world's longest-running play, Agatha Christie's The Mouse Trap. Newman then went on to star in the New York production of the longest-running play on the British stage, Agatha Christie's The Mouse Trap. After numerous parts on Broadway, including the musical What Makes Sammy Run, Sidney Kingsley's Night Live, America Hurrah, Newman went on to do TV and movies. While working at nights on Broadway in What Makes Sammy Run, Newman starred as attorney John Barnes in the daytime drama, The Edge of Night for two years. Earlier, Newman also co-starred in his first film, The Gangster Potboiler, Pretty Boy Floyd 1960, but he made his breakthrough with his first starring role in The Lawyer 1970, directed by Sidney Fury, for which Newman received critical acclaim. His career flourished and he began starring in feature films, such as Sidney J. Fury's The Lawyer, and as the iconic Kowalski in Vanishing Point 1971. In 1974, he was offered the title role of what became the hit television series Petricelli 1974, for which he received an Emmy and Golden Globe nominations. After Petricelli 1974 ended, Newman went back to star in feature films and miniseries, including the critically acclaimed miniseries Fatal Vision 1984, with Carl Malden, Eva Marie Saint and Gary Cole. In 1989, Barry Newman starred with Suzanne Plachette in the television series Nightingales, playing Dr. Garrett Braden. Then, in the early 1990s, Newman went to London to star in the BBC's production of Miss Marple, the Mirror Cracked, with Claire Bloom. During the 1990s Newman went back to co-star in movies such as Daylight with Sylvester Stallone, Bowfinger, starring Steve Martin and Eddie Murphy, and in Steven Soderbergh's comeback movie The Limey, among others. He starred in more than 20 television movies of the week, like King Crab, for which he won the ABC Theatre Award, and Fantasies with Suzanne Plachette. He continued co-starring in feature films, such as Sylvester Stallone's Daylight, Steve Martin's Bowfinger, and Steven Soderbergh's The Limey, with Peter Fonda. He continues to delight in the profession he chose, a successful career that has spanned five decades. Rolling Stone senior film editor, David Fear, recently tweeted about Barry, rewatching Barry Newman films, it's like producers fused Dustin Hoffman and Steve McQueen into one actor. After Petricelli 1974 ended, Newman went back to star in feature films and miniseries, including the critically acclaimed miniseries Fatal Vision 1984, with Carl Malden, Eva Marie Saint and Gary Cole. He continued co-starring in feature films, such as Sylvester Stallone's Daylight, Steve Martin's Bowfinger, and Steven Soderbergh's The Limey, with Peter Fonda. He continues to delight in the profession he chose, a successful career that has spanned five decades.
Rolling Stone senior film editor, David Fear, recently tweeted about Barry, rewatching Barry Newman films, it's like producers fused Dustin Hoffman and Steve McQueen into one actor. Personal life Newman has been in a relationship with Morgan Fairchild. Total assets of Newman has an estimated net worth of $2 million as of 2020. This includes his assets, money, and income. His primary source of income is his career as a television personality. Through his various sources of income, he has been able to accumulate a good fortune but prefers to lead a modest lifestyle. Thank you for listening to the story about the life of Barry Newman.